really inspired by your art in general and especially your paintings but also your style or your fashion sense I really like it and so my first question is where do you see yourself as an artist in 10 years? In 10 years I see myself as like a creative director of my own I plan on moving to New York City in the future and I really want to like be able to spread like my art vision to New York like it's New York is such like a big open place so like it's very like accepting to new artists and stuff like that like I also want to like open up a school an art school like I want to help kids who like feel like they don't have like the advantage to express themselves creatively like give them a space to like feel like accepted and have a journey mm, that's amazing yeah I feel like creating a school is like an amazing idea that yeah um, another question that I have is, do you think your fashion sense or your style reflects in some way your art or your personality? Definitely. Like, I love to dress, like, in fun patterns. Like, my top right now is, like, very, like, I guess eclectic is the word, I think. <laughs> but I love to dress up very, like, vibrant and new many different patterns in my fashion sense like I have every color in my wardrobe and I kind of like to mix match styles but keep them in the same type of like color palette so they end up like contrasting but also being put together in a well fashioned way. Mm, that's awesome I, I really like the shirt you're wearing and also your Thank necklace you. it's really cute <laughs> and um also, also related to like your style and expressing yourself, uh, I think in one of your YouTube videos you said that uh, something about that we should embrace our differences and that we should take pride in who we are and the way we express yourself, ourselves. So uh, do you have like any tips for people who want to express themselves also with their style but uh, are afraid to do so maybe because of other people's judgments? Yeah, I suggest you tap into your authenticity, like, do what makes you feel comfortable doing, like, for me, it was hard for me to actually find my type of style, because I used to always, like, feel like I have to follow a trend, or, like, I wouldn't be, like, accepted in society if I were something, but find your authentic self and figure out, like, who you are as a person, because I feel like the way we dress reflects who we are as people. And I feel like it's very, very important to know, like, what you like, what you don't like, and just wear what you want to wear. At the end of the day, like, people aren't going to judge you for wearing something, especially if you like it. Like, for me, I used to, like, shy away from wearing, like, florals and bright colors. Like, I would wear, like, a lot of blacks and stuff like that. And I felt, I didn't feel comfortable wearing it, but I felt like I was, people saw me as, like, oh, she's wearing that, like, I'm not going to say I felt kind of like I was, like, conforming into society, so I didn't really feel different, but when quarantine came and COVID came, like, I felt like I finally had the time to breathe and, like, relax and kind of, like, learn about myself and figure out what I like and what I don't like and try to figure out, like, how I can incorporate being confident into my style without letting other people's validation be my approval. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And, um, well, another question is, this one is really basic, but if you had to pick one of your paintings, like your favorite painting, which one would you pick? Um, my favorite painting would be my painting Labrador and Orchids. I would like, I don't have it on me currently, but I, it's like somewhere else, but I guess I might like, I'll post it on my feed this week because I'm doing another um, art thing. But it's my favorite one because, like, I painted an orange sun in the background and flowers to represent, like, my upbringing as an artist. I used to shy away from, like, actually, like, showing my art to the world. I used to, like, very, like, I was very overcritical of myself and what other people thought about my art and my work and my creative expression. So it's kind of a way, like, of how I expressed myself into the world and how I started to be comfortable as an artist and showcase my work as well as find out who I am. Uh, then, well, um, the next question is, what have you been working on lately? Ooh, so 
So lately, I've been working on a lot of speeches and writing things down because I want to incorporate my voice into my creative expression. So I've been working on a YouTube series lately. I haven't been like active on Instagram that much because I've been doing things behind the scenes. But I've been working on a YouTube series and I plan on dropping a video possibly this Saturday as well as posting on Instagram tomorrow and Friday about it. So I'm very excited about that. Um, then I think you mentioned in one of your YouTube videos that uh, you also like writing your thoughts down and uh, also kind yeah. of writing songs. So are you planning on actually maybe publishing a song? Oh, I was thinking about that like earlier today. I don't sing. I haven't sung like publicly in front of people in so long, but I've been thinking about it like for summertime. Like I write a lot of poetry as well, and people have told me that my poem would be like amazing song. So I feel like I will start getting into that more in the summertime. And I see myself singing. I really do. Like. I feel like I can like I'm I'll be able to incorporate that in like my creative like expression and who I am, but I also want to make sure like I get a message across with my words, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's awesome. And uh, um, well, let me see. Um, how would you describe your work in just three words? Um, vibrant, very vibrant. Yeah. Um. I have to say energetic because I like to include like my feeling and my thoughts into like the way my paintings look and I have to say fun because I always have fun when I'm creating and I feel like everyone should always have fun when they're making something. And also uh, I've seen your Instagram profile of course and all of your other accounts and so I've seen that well, of course, you have a YouTube channel, then you're a model, you also focus on fashion and style and creating fashion items, and also, of course, you're an artist. So, um, what, which one out of these things is your, act your favorite activity to do? It has to be creating art, because if it wasn't for me like being an artist, I feel like I wouldn't really have been able to express myself in many different branches like everything stems from me being able to create my art and my passion in that okay awesome well uh, i've actually finished the question so <laughs> but it, it, it's been amazing talking to you and i was planning on writing an article for my magazine if it's okay for you about you yeah you can do that yeah and um 